Hi Capricorn, welcome to your Should You Reach Out uh, reading for April 11th through May 11th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. All right. This could be anywhere in between just about an old friend, an old uh, romantic partner that you know you ended on good or not so good terms. It's whoever's on your mind that you're thinking, should I reach out? Should I, should I make the first move? Or I've been thinking about this person. Is it a good idea to connect with them? Um, so yeah, everything else that you need to know is in the description box below. All right, Capricorn. Uh, also, if I sound funny, it, I'm on, today is a sneezing day. So, you know, yay nature. So yeah, today's a sneezing day for me. I think my voice is, you know, my throat's a little rough. Four of Cups. So perhaps this is you considering if you should reach out. Maybe you're kind of stuck on how you feel. Not You know, you're feeling stuck or you're just like pretty resolute. But there is that sort of thought that's kind of nagging at you. Or just you've been, you keep coming back to if you should reach out. Um, maybe you're just disappointed with the way things are, have landed and have been. And you're thinking of reaching out because of that. Good gracious. All right. So it looks like there's been an ending. I'm not going to go into all that I just pulled because it was about 15 cards. So it looks like there's been an ending, obviously, and this is connected to the death card, which I eventually got to here. Um, wow. Okay. So we've got betrayal and deception here or just, you know, not being, uh, hmm, let me pull some more cards here. Okay. So we've got seven of swords. We've got the nine of pentacles. And we've got the Ace of Pentacles. Like I said, I, I ended up getting to the Death card. Um, and that could be, there's been an ending and this is part of that process of, um, that emotional process of letting go. And there's periods of feeling stuck. And then there's just like, oh crap, is this as good as it gets? And you know, all that. So we've all been there. Um, okay, uh, Queen of Cups, Seven of Cups, Ten of Cups. Five of Swords, the Two of, I was going to say Two of Pentacles, Two of Wands, and there's that Death card. Okay, so, um, so they, I think they feel that there's been some sort of betrayal or deception. Um, they feel cheated, they feel lied to, they feel like they had to just break free and get away. And they, it does not appear at this time, Capricorn, that they would be reception, receptive to you um, reaching out. In fact, after this situation, after the situation ended between you two, or after your relationship ended, I think they felt like they had a brand new chance at security. And I, they're confused right now. They don't know what they want. Some days they're mad. Some days they're upset. Some days they're just kind of, they don't know how they feel. Everything's still kind of swirling around in there. Um, they would... It's, it's funny because it's like they're not receptive to it. But if you were to reach out, I think they would feel like... It's it's the darnest thing. But okay, what's this Queen of Cups about? What's this Queen of Cups about? What's this Ten of Cups about? It could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. You know, it's almost like it would set things back to right if you were to reach out. They, they're still really confused, but I think they would like to hear how you feel. I hate to say that they would make them feel satisfied, like they'd kind of be like, yeah, that's right. I don't think it's that. I think it would just be a lot for them to think about because I think things are at a stalemate right now. I don't think you two are talking and I feel like if you were to reach out, it would probably be like, or to tell them how you feel, reaching out, showing some kind of interest. I think they'd be receptive, but it would just be a source of um, confusion. They do want to know how you feel. I think they, maybe that's why it ended. They, it's, it's like, this is kind of confusing, but okay. Um, are they receptive? No. Are they going to seek it out? No. But if you were to reach out, there would be interest in you reaching out. I think they want to know how you feel. 
Because certainly whatever happened, they felt like, oh, good gracious, I'm glad I got out of that. Like, this is a, this is a, now things can finally balance out and settle down. And I got out, I, you know, I had to just leave that behind. I had to be strategic about how I left. And now I can get on with my security and my future. But they're still confused. And it, it feels like they want to know how you feel or what your plan is. They want to know how you would go about restoring the happily ever after, if you were to reach out. They feel like, okay, this is not mine to fix. This is yours to fix. What are your thoughts and ideas and how would you go about restoring and fixing the happily ever after here? And this, we got waiting. We got the hangman, we got this. This is them waiting. And you uh, would be, would do well to I hate to say get in touch with your feelings, but both of these are about wise decisions. Um, well, to a degree, this is about transformation after an ending, coming out of it wiser. This is about making wise decisions. So I think that's why they're in the waiting position here is because they're like, okay, what's your next move? Do I want to get back together? I don't know. What are your plans? I'm confused. I, I welcome a conversation, but it is all about how you're going to fix this about how you're going to restore whatever was destroyed, depleted, what, you know, whatever they, I think they blame you, Capricorn, is what I'm trying to say. Whether that's accurate or not, that's where they're coming from. All right, what else for Capricorn here? What else for Capricorn? What else for Capricorn? Okay, so, the wow. <laughs> Belonging and acceptance. Um... The, uh, all right, what making a wise decision, coming out of this, processing your emotions for the next couple of months, seeing how you truly feel about this, what you truly want, and being very discerning and wise about what you cut out, decisions that you make, moving forward, what you really truly want. Because there's there's an element of they, they feel betrayed because they either wanted it more than you did, or it's like, do you really want to just be with me, or do you still want to date a lot? And... This is saying you need to know how you truly feel about this. Are you going along with what someone else wants because it's easiest? Or do you truly feel a kinship and a, an affinity for this person and feel a belonging with them so that you would be willing to cut things out to make the necessary sacrifices? If you don't, then don't. And I think they suspect that you don't, that you're just uncomfortable. That's why you might be getting back in touch because there's you're restless or something because they're willing to wait things out. Um... And, you know, they're, they're like, I need to see over time. I, there's nothing I can do in this situation right now. I'm, I'm willing to listen, but there's nothing I can do about what happened. This is all on you to be making the decisions about what you're going to be cutting out, what you're going to be doing. That's, that's what they would be saying. All right, what else for Capricorn? So they're, they're putting this squarely on you, Capricorn. And whatever it was before, they were, it was pretty bad because they were quite happy to get on with this afterwards. Um... Or, or they just, there, there was a feeling of being held back or oppressed or like they had to be kind of strategic about what they did until they got by themselves. And then now we get to have security and stability. All right, Capricorn. Hospitality, okay. So this is about opening up and communicating and being warm and friendly and, and making the first move, basically. Being open and telling how you feel. They, they want to know how you feel. They want to talk about how you feel. What would Capricorn's person say to them? Two cards. What would Capricorn's person say to them? I feel badly for the way that I treated you. You didn't deserve that. Okay. All right. What else? This one just flew out. We will be together again. That flew out, and I want to pull one more. Capricorn's person, okay? Well, you know, that one said, I feel damaged, like I just can't do this, but I want to pull one, so. Being apart has been life-changing for me. All right. What else for Capricorn? What else does Capricorn need to know? Capricorn. 
unity. <laughs> this could be that this person is like, all right, I'm here for it, but I need to know that you are too. I need to know that whatever happened in the past is going to be the last time that it happened, that you've changed from that, that you've realized what happened, and there's a new version of us that is possible because I don't want to come from, I don't want to just have it be on a continuum and we go back to where I feel oppressed or you're cheating or I'm cheating or, you know, what else for Capricorn? What do they need to know? This also, to me, speaks to getting in touch with what you want, connecting to source or your intuition, letting your gut talk to you about what decisions to make, what you truly want. Because this person, I think they're receptive to it, but they're like, I'm going to be by myself if I need to. I'm not putting up with this. But they do want to hear what you have to say. I mean, they do. They would want a reconnection, but they feel, honestly, they feel like it's up to you to fix. And they, they seem pretty um, confused. I think they want to hear how you truly feel. All right, Capricorn. What else does Capricorn need to hear? Cap Oopsie, message for Capricorn. Just do it. You've got everything you need to move forward, to reach out, to say what you want to say. Whether it's like, you know, I've thought about it and I just don't want this. I don't want to keep the suspense here. Uh, I wish you well. Goodbye. Whatever you feel like you are led to do after this, you know, for the next couple months, you're thinking about it, whatever, or even now you reach out. Whatever you feel led to do, You've got everything you need to do it. It's a matter of actually doing it, taking that first step. Um, I don't think this is so much about setting goals. It's about doing something differently to get to where you want to go eventually. So doing one small thing differently um, a day just breaks up that rut. And then in two weeks, you're like, oh, here I am. You know what I mean? Like I'm a little bit further. I'm not where I want to be, but I'm a little bit further. This is getting out of that stinking thinking. This is getting out of self-doubt. Just do it. When when all else fails, just you have everything you need. You might not think you do. Just do it. So if this is speaking to the changes that you want to make, do it. If it's about reaching out to this person and you're going back and forth and thinking, 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 just do it. They'll be open to it. Or they'll be open to listening, I should say. They'll be open to listening. They don't need you, so it's not like they've been waiting and they're tapping their foot and this and that. They're pretty up and running and self-sufficient, so it's not like there's going to be this overwhelming like tidal wave of... It's just they'd be open to listening what, to what you had to say. What else for Capricorn? Capricorn. Let's snapshot. Okay, so someone, this is a relationship of longevity or it had the potential to be. Both of these are about stability and security. It could be that someone was starting to feel held back and tied down, though, to the point where they're like, I'm out of here. I just, I have to cut everything off. I, I can't keep doing the same thing. I can't keep repeating the same pattern with you. It's not healthy. I, I ugh. So this, we've got some longevity and stability and settling down but it could also be feeling tied down or weighed down or stuck that things never change that there's no vitality so if this describes your situation i wish you luck with this honestly um this person does want to work things out because i think they value the connection and i mean we've got the nine of pentacles here where this has been a while um, but the emotional process of sorting all this out is also going to take some time so I think they'd be willing to wait or to willing to accept that you're trying if this even interests you, but they do feel like they, they just want to hear how you feel and what your plans are, quite honestly. Okay. All right, Capricorn. I hope this helps you. I do. And I hope you are able to sort out your feelings and, and get clear on what you want and move forward. All right. I hope to see you in the next reading. Take care.